Number 36. A pint of premium ice cream can contain 1,100 calories. What mass in fat in grams and pounds must be produced in the body to store an extra 1.1 times 10 to the 3 calories if the average number of calories for fat is 9.1 calories per gram? Okay, so we've done a couple of problems like this already. So if you guys have been on the playlist um, or in this chapter, we've kind of went over a review on what's basically going on here. But we're talking about fat storage in terms of energy. Now, the average number of calories for fat is 9.1 calories per gram. That means that for every one gram of fat that is eaten and metabolized, the body will be able to produce 9.1 calories for energy purposes, right? Now here, someone has eaten some ice cream, premium ice cream. I could go for some ice cream right now. And they just want to know what's the mass in grams and pounds must be produced in the body to store those extra calories, right? So technically, the first part of the question, we don't even need because they gave us the same amount in this case. This is the number that's important to us. They could have said that a pint of ice cream contains, you know, two calories. This is the number that we need, okay? So I'm basically just going from calories, this amount of calories, to how much mass was needed in order to produce that amount of energy. So let's see. Let's start with what we're given. 1.1 times 10 to the third calories. And dimensional analysis, we're just converting. So times by a ratio, right? We've done this a lot of times, right? Calories on the bottom. And we're going to put the grams of the fat on the top. Now I just look at my my uh, my ratio here that I know the, the known numbers for. They say that for every one gram of fat that's metabolized and adjusted, the body will be able to produce 9.1 calories. Cancel out the calories. So it looks like we're just dividing by 9.1. So 1.1 times 10 to the third divided by 9.1, I get roughly 121. Uh, technically it should be two sig figs. So I will do 1.2 times 10 to the first, right? I think so. One, two, actually second. 1.2 times 10 to the second, and that's f grams of fat. So that's the first part. Now, all we have to do is we just have to convert this amount of grams of the fat into pounds. So here's my little conversion for that one, right? One pound is equal to 453.592 grams. So let's start with what we're given. 1.2 times 10 to the second grams of fat. Same thing as before, times by the ratio. Throw the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. So grams goes on the bottom. And maybe I'll just say... Yeah, we'll guess we'll just say grams of fat and then pounds, right? Of fat. According to this, one pound equals 453.592. Grams of fat cancels. We're left with pounds of fat. So that would be the second answer. So 1.2 times 10 to the uh, second divided by 453. 453.592. Okay. And we get 0 0.26 pounds of fat. So almost a quarter of a pound, which isn't at all that much, guys. So eat that ice cream. It's okay. All right. Um, yeah. So here are your two amounts. This is the grams and the pounds of fat that, you know, uh, would be produced in order to house that amount of energy in the body. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? I love helping you guys. I love talking to you guys. And I hope all is well, all right? Keep studying hard. You guys got this. And I will see you all in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.